Okay, this is a snow blower video. Okay, first thing you do, you go out, damn, sweep snow out of it, take the cover off, whatever, and you take this thing out of here. You take your cord, and you plug the cord in. Okay. Next thing you do, before you start, I like to go check the gas. And apparently, I don't have any gas. That's okay. Check your gas. Being careful not to get snow down in the gas tank. Then you walk over and get down here. Okay, so like there's up on the thing here, it's, it's all explained. But uh, anyway, there's the key. You leave that in. I, I never take it out. Here's your stop and run. Right there. Run is up, stops down, okay? So you put it in run. This is for cold start. The choke, it's called a choke. It's to uh, make more gas, I guess. Anyway, you turn that for really real cold. First time out, you go and turn that all the way, clockwise. All right. And then you go down here. This is a primer squeeze bulb. And this gets gas into the motor for the cold start. So like the thing up there says at least no more than three times. Okay, so I would go push it in, squeeze, 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 three tries. There's the choke is on here. And we check it for obstructions, like, okay, like <clears throat> there's nothing in there, jamming up, nope. Okay, everything is clear. <clears throat> and then go over then and you press this button. And immediately after it starts, you go up and you turn your choke off, back counterclockwise, okay? Like I said, if I if it was uh, warm, like say if it was doing well I, well, I would just leave it running anyway while I was in it to dry right. But if for some reason it ran out of gas, you may not have to go through this ritual. You might just put new gas in and just turn the choke on and, and push the button. It'll start and then you turn it off. So big thing is once it starts, you reach over here and you that's in for start. You reach over here when it starts uh, first and just turn it off and it'll just chug on. Uh, this lever right here, this is for the chute that, that directs the snow up and down, right? You'll fiddle with that and figure it out. Uh, this crank is for the direction of your your thing. You know, so like, if you're coming out the driveway, you're going to be blowing it in front of you. And when you get out around the corner of the house, then you'll blow it out over the line, I suppose. So you direct it with this. This is your speeds. Okay, reverse. There's your two reverse gears here. Reverse slow and reverse fast. And here's your forward gears here. You only go up there when you're moving it or something. But like if you're, you're nibbling that new fresh snow or a drift out by the road, you got to either this one here or this one here. This uh, this controls your wheels. Okay. So put this down for your wheels. And this controls the thing that throws the snow. And again, you'll, you'll fiddle with it and figure it all out. Anyway, but the main thing is make sure there's gas in it. Uh, you gotta turn it on here. I got an awful habit of trying to start it without turning it on. Terrible. Anyway, off and on. And the choke, which you use for getting it going the first time. And, and usually no more than three squirts. And you, you press this button here, that keeps the starter engaged. And you don't wanna, if it's hard to start, you don't wanna run that any more than probably 10 seconds at a time. Then the starter will get hot. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, keep it full of gas. Try not to get snow down in the gas. And keep her covered up and locked or whatever. Okay.